you should, um, this is our eighth problem type, you should know how to work with tables. So if you're given a table, you should be able to answer various questions uh, based upon it. And this one, um, these are just numbers I made up. These aren't, don't mean anything. Got full-time status and part-time status for students. And then we got females. And we got males. So we got 500 here, 400 here, 200 here, and 100 here. Well, pretty much whenever you're going to find probabilities, you need your totals. So let's go ahead and do those. Um, 500 plus 400 means I got 900 full-time students. 200 plus 100 means I got 300 part-time. 500 plus 200 here means I got 700 females. And 400 plus 100 gives us 500, means I got 500 males. Now 900 plus 300 gives us 1,200. And that's how many we have, that's our grand total right there. So let's answer the questions down. A says, what is probably picking a student uh, and they are full time? So full time, well we have our grand total at the bottom, 1,200. And the full time we got a total of 900 of them. So we have 900 over 1,200. Gives us 0.75. Now B says, what is probably picking a student and getting a female or a part-time student? Or, that's the addition rule. Um, getting a student um, and get, or wait a minute, what is probably picking a student and getting a female, sorry. So f the females, uh, there's 700 of them total over my 1200. Uh, getting a female or a part-time student. Well, part-time, there's uh, 300 of them total. There's a problem with that. Uh, when we um, added the females, this right here, and we added the part-time, this right here, we added the 200 twice. So any that we add twice, we have to subtract off. So we're going to subtract off 200. And we erase those now that I showed that. There we go. And um, that should be 800 over 1,200. That gives us um, this right here. Now C. What's well, probably picking a student and getting a male student given they are part time? So we're only looking at the part time, which is 300. And uh, getting a male student given they are part time. So we're only looking at them part time, we're looking at the males. So that'd be 100. And that'd give us that for our probability. And then last one. Let's probably get pick a student and get and um, getting a student who's female and part time. Now, female and part time. Well, that's the um, intersection of the two. Female and part time. Well, here's female. There's female. I should have done that in red. So here's female and here's part time. So when we got an and, it's always the intersection. So the only one we want on top here is the 200. And 200 divided by 1200 gives us 0 0.1667. Um, now this is actually used in the part B's formula, this uh, here at the end. But anyway, those are answers for. Problem type 8.